So when you come across a problem that says draw a 240 degree angle, uh, you might get a little bit confused because usually when you think of reflex angles, you think of a full circle protractor because the full circle protractor is the only one that goes up to 240 degrees. Now, um, when you're drawing angles, you can only use a half circle protractor because on our template, that's the only one that gives you spots to actually write. So here's the trick to drawing a 240 degree angle using a half circle protractor. Now a half circle protractor, if you look closely, you can see it only goes up to 180 degrees. So don't be alarmed. You can still draw a 240 degree angle even though it doesn't go up to 240 degrees by doing this trick. You know a full circle is 360 degrees. So you're going to take a full circle and subtract it by what the problem gives you and see what's remaining in that fraction, or I'm sorry, in that angle. 0 minus 0, 0, 2, 1, 120 degrees. So what you just figured out is that from here to here is 120 degrees, but you just want to know the measure of the outside. That's the reflex angle. So this would be like 120 degrees, and this would be the 240 degrees. So you're going to use the protractor to draw this, but you're really just going to draw the arrow around here to show that this is 240 degrees because that's the rest of the angle. So to do that, as a reminder to, for drawing an angle, first you draw your vertex, then you draw a straight line with a straight edge because you don't want it to be crooked. Um, then you're going to use your half circle protractor, the one that you always use to measure and draw angles. You're going to line that T up with the vertex. You're going to line this right here up with the line and you're going to look for 120 degrees. Well, the first 120 degrees is right there, but I know that's not right. That top number is not right because that's too narrow to be 120 degrees. It's over 90 degrees. So I'm going to keep going. Here's my 120 degrees. I found my 120 degrees. I'm going to go up and draw my little pencil mark right there at 120 degrees. Connect the dots. Now from here to here is 120 degrees. But we know the rest of this from here to here is 240 degrees. So we draw that to check. Let's just double check to make sure our answer is right. I'm going to use my full circle protractor to double check. I'm going to line it up from where this arrow is coming from. Line that up with the zero. Put this dot on the vertex. And as you can see, it measures to 240 degrees.